So Bill Barr is out on his reputation rehabilitation tour. Tickets aren't exactly selling like hotcakes, but Bill Barr does bring one important piece of evidence to the table because he has direct evidence of Donald Trump's criminal intent. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So Bill Barr was just interviewed by Savannah Guthrie on the Today Show, and boy does he show his true colors. I hope we will all remember that Bill Barr lied to Congress, committed any number of crimes, spun and mischaracterized the Mueller report as found by federal district court judge Reggie Walton, And when I say he lied to Congress, he was being questioned by then Senator Kamala Harris. And he was asked, did anybody at the White House, including Donald Trump, ever ask you to open an investigation into someone? And Bill Barr answered, I don't know. That's a lie. Because he did know. And when you're asked a question under oath, before Congress, in a grand jury, in a court of law, or elsewhere, and you know the answer, but you testify under oath, I don't know. That's perjury. When it's done in front of Congress, it's a false statement in violation of Federal Code 18 U.S.C. 1001. So yes, Bill Barr lied under oath and has yet to be held accountable for it. Think about this, friends. If I don't know was a perjury-proof answer, prosecutors would never be able to successfully prosecute anything because any difficult witness could walk into the grand jury or walk into trial and sit in the witness chair and under oath say, I don't know. Can I leave now? Because you can't hold me accountable for telling that particular lie. It's not the way it works, friends. And Bill Barr's day, his destiny with justice, had better come at some point. Even understanding all of that about Bill Barr. What we knew before Bill Barr went on his reputation rehabilitation tour and what he reaffirmed to Savannah Guthrie in this new interview is he has direct evidence of Donald Trump's criminal state of mind, his corrupt intent, his guilty mens rea, which when we finally charge Donald Trump will be easy to prove. He says that he directly confronted the president and he told Donald Trump, your claims of election fraud, of the election being stolen are BS. Bill Barr's term. Donald Trump absolutely knew and was told by the Attorney General and others in the administration the election was not stolen before he incited the insurrection on January 6th. So yes, Bill Barr has direct evidence of Donald Trump's criminal intent. And if there is a justice God, and I hope she's up there, Bill Barr will be a marquee witness in the criminal prosecution that is captioned United States of America versus Donald Trump. And if the Department of Justice does it right, Bill Barr will be what we call a cooperating witness. Someone who is charged for his crimes, enters into a guilty plea with cooperation, and then testifies against others about whom he has information that they committed crimes. Bill Barr should be a cooperating witness in the criminal trial against Donald Trump. Now, I'm not saying Bill Barr would make an appealing cooperating witness, because frankly, his credibility is lower than whale droppings. 
but apparently his self-respect is even lower. Why do I say that? Well, Donald Trump just issued a statement of sorts. Actually, it was a letter he wrote to NBC's Lester Holt. Here is the headline in Axios about that letter. Trump trashes Barr in rant to Lester Holt. And I'm not going to read the whole letter, but I do want to read a couple of passages just to give you a flavor of what Donald Trump says about Bill Barr. So the letter begins, Dear Mr. Holt, but Donald Trump struck out Mr. Holt and wrote in Lester. Dear Lester, Bill Barr cares more about being accepted by the corrupt Washington media and elite than serving the American people. He was slow, lethargic, and I realized early on that he never had what it takes to make a great attorney general. When the radical left Democrats threatened to hold him in contempt and even worse to impeach him, he became virtually worthless to law and order and election integrity. But Donald Trump continued, Bill Barr was a big disappointment to me as attorney general. He was afraid to act and usually didn't. Trump continued, Barr's lack of energy, drive, and curiosity led me to say things to him that should have never even been necessary, but he was lazy, but he was so lazy and cowardly. And then he recaps, in other words, Bill Barr was a coward. And this letter from Donald Trump to Lester Holt goes on to then include so much propaganda it would make Kim Jong-un blush. So in his recent interview with Savannah Guthrie, Bill Barr was shown this letter and Miss Guthrie read him portions of it, what Donald Trump had said about him, and then asked him this question. So, if Donald Trump were the Republican nominee for president in 2024, would you vote for him? Yes. Bill Barr would vote for Donald Trump again. How little self-respect can a person have? I think we have our answer. Friends, as always, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.